This is the Daily Pulse from Speak My Word Ministries. I'm Travis Zimmerman, day two of a three-day series on Niagara Falls, where my family was privileged enough to be able to vacation there this year. Long time since we had a vacation. So thank you, God, for that. And we talked yesterday about Niagara Falls reminds us of God's beauty. The second thing I want to point out is Niagara Falls reminds us of God's power. Wow. And as a Psalm of David, Psalm chapter 62, verses 11 to 12, one thing God has spoken, two things have I heard that you, O God, are strong, and that you, O Lord, are loving. Surely you will reward each person according to what he has done. That you, O God, are strong, and and the strong and the powerful. I mean, as you you come into it, I mean, the first time my bride and I were there was 19 years ago for our honeymoon. And we were, we got there kind of late, and we couldn't, we thought there was a train. We we were up on a hill, and we didn't know where we were, and, and you just heard this rumble. And we thought a train was going through because it was, it was that, that low rumble you hear of trains. And we realized, you know, as we walked, it wasn't a train, it was the falls. As you come there, you know, again, we talk about the beauty, but the power of all the you know, millions of gallons of water pouring over that thing. And just, you know, you have the, <laughs> the temptation to jump in, in a barrel and, you know, you want to throw leaves in there and watch them go over the falls. But, you know, and, and things are decimated by it. So again, Niagara Falls is a reminder of God's power. Only God could have created something as powerful and, and as beautiful as that in Jesus' name. Amen.